Hello and welcome to episode six of our web series. Easter has now been and gone, and so we thought we'd look at a few parables over the next few weeks. So the first one we're looking at is the parable of the sower. And we're going to be thinking about what is our relationship with Jesus like? How are we growing as his followers? Are we maybe starting to look a little bit like this and actually we're not in very good soil at the moment? Or are we growing really well as disciples of Jesus? But first, before we look at the story, let's set a challenge. So the challenge this week, you can do at home. What I've done is just like there were four different areas where the seeds went, there are four containers here and each one gets a little bit smaller and under each one has some, has some points. So this one, you get one point, this one, you get two, this one, you get three, and this one, you get four. And what you have to do is stand back with I know I've got some tennis balls here and some of the dog's balls because I couldn't find any others in the house. And I'm going to throw each one and see how many points I get. So let's see how well I do. I'm going to go for a two first, I think. Oh, missed. OK, let's try this one. Let's go for a three. Yes, three points. Uh, let's attempt a four at the back. Oh. Let's go for another three. Oh, okay. Let's go for a two with this one. And then finally, let's just go for a one. Yeah, it bounced in and, and bounced out, but that's fine. I still get the points. So overall, I got four points. Let's see if you can do any better. Please feel free to try at home. As well as having a game, you could also make this into a prayer activity. Now I've written on the other side of the numbers, something to pray for. So with this one, I've gone with that people would know God. And with this one, I can pray for the frontline workers. With this one, I can pray for people who are ill. And finally, for our world leaders as well. And then what I could do is I could then throw the balls and depending on what they land in, that's who I can pray for. So enjoy doing that too. There once was a farmer who went out into his fields to sow some seed. As the farmer was scattering the seed, some of it fell onto a pathway. This seed didn't have a chance to grow, as it was soon eaten by birds. This is a nice spot. I mean, we missed the grass by a little bit, but it's still nice. Oh look, we even have a friend. Hello, Mr. Bird. Ah! As the farmer was scattering the seed, some of it fell on rocky ground, where there wasn't much soil. The seed quickly started growing, but when the sun came, they were quickly scorched and dried up because they hardly had any roots. Wow, what a beautiful spot. The sun is shining. I might even sunbathe. Hello. It is getting a little too hot. I can't seem to find anything to drink. As the farmer was scattering the seed, some of it fell in a patch of thorns. They grew up, but they were choked by the thorn bushes that grew there. Hey, look! We've got lots of new friends here! Hello! We're new to the neighbourhood. Yeah. Nice to meet you! Yes, we are all friends here. Oh, Come closer. As the farmer was scattering the seed, some of it fell on good ground. These plants grew big and strong and produced up to a hundred times as much as was scattered. Wow, the soil feels so luxurious. I agree. Do you know what? I think we could create a lot of fruit here. Yay! So in our story today, we had some seed and four types of ground. Now, firstly, the seed is the word of God. It is what people are hearing. It is scattered out there for people to hear. But each of us could be a bit like a different type of ground. For some people, we can be like the path and the birds come down and take away that word quickly. And that's as if the devil just comes along and takes away that word so that people just forget about it instantly. Then there's the rocky path. And these are people that become Christians really quickly. 
they're like so excited and everything's going really well. Then that first sign of trouble, they give up because actually they're, they're not rooted deeply in God's word. And then we have those that have the thorns and the weeds. And this is where people have become those Christians again. But then as they get into like real life things again and and, and there are distractions and material things that take us away. And actually, eventually, God gets choked out, pushed out. We don't have time for him. And then there's the good soil. That's the ones that are reading God's word. They're praying. They're talking to him. They're getting to know him. And they're Christians who end up bearing fruit and being able to even bring others to know God as well. See, there are lots of questions this parable asks us, but the one I want to ask you is what are you doing to promote growth in your life? Because, there's, because when we grow plants, there's lots of things that you need to do. You need to make sure they have the right soil. You need to make sure you prune them. You need to make sure you water them. You need to be there nurturing the, their growth. And I want you to think about what are you doing to nurture your growth? How are you making sure that you're the right kind of soil so that when Jesus sends you his word, you listen to it and grow from it? And there's lots we can do to grow. The main things that we can do is listen to God, read his word and pray. And I hope that you guys are making time to do all three of those things. Make sure that you make time and space for God so that you can nurture your faith so that you can grow. So I'm just going to pray, Heavenly Father, we pray that we would be the right kind of soil. We pray that when you spread your word to us, we would be listening and we would respond in the right ways. Would you help us to be growing constantly for you, growing in our knowledge of you, in our understanding of you, but most importantly, growing in how we know you personally. Would we all grow to be fruitful in all sorts of different ways. Amen. Keep safe, guys. It's lovely talking to you and we'll speak to you soon.